Aloha. This video I wanted to uh, expand upon the Las Vegas false flag and basically all false flags that are out there and the entire idea of this Western civilization that we call civilization, which in itself is a false flag. The events that have taken place are throughout the history of this society are not as separate as we think they are. It's not as compartmentalized, this control grid, like the the authority figures, the tragedies that are running rampant through our timelines, they're not mistakes. This is uh, like setting up a movie set, like a director would organize the prop team. Like a, uh, a producer would pretty much just fund the whole thing and do nothing, but they have an intent. They're like, oh, okay, well, they choose. This is the movie we want to produce. We will fund this type of event. We will fund this type of film to produce this type of effect on people. And shout out to... I think it was Triple Seven Wisdom who um, made a comment on the last video in reference to cause and effect. And in all of the other videos that I talk about, I reference uh, in, in, in reference to uh, heliocentrism and flat earth is uh, the, the idea of what, how, and why. And you have the what, which is like the the shallow version, the, the movie script, like what is going on. <clears throat> Meanwhile, you have the how it was produced, how it's directed, and why it's produced, and why it's directed. These perspectives, the how and the why, in the movie reel groups and communities and perspectives mainstream mostly that's what it boils down to it's mainstream that's what the mainstream is mainstream okay you have a mainstream is the stream of consciousness based upon what corporations decide is mainstream no the mainstream is the human stream the mainstream for particular cultures is their ancestral stream. The mainstream for nature is the natural stream. The mainstream for animals in their consciousness and their relationships and their balances in nature is the animal mainstream. So the mainstream of humanity is what? It sure as hell ain't human consciousness. It's not based upon humanity. The mainstream that we are observing today is, apologies for the uh, weed whacker in the background if you can hear it, but I'm gonna keep on rolling. The mainstream for humanity is no different than the idea of McDonald's being good for you. Television being good for you, the prescription drugs being good for you, the companies, the fluoridated water being good for you, the genetically modified food being good for you, the tearing down of the rainforests being good for you, the soaking out of what they call fossil fuels, which is another mind control program. Uh, Egg Shan in Big Trouble in Little China calls it the black blood of the earth. <laughs> Jack Burns said, oh, well, you mean oil? No, he means the black blood of the earth. Earth is being soaked. Nature is being soaked. In reference to the mainstream consciousness of humanity, humanity is being soaked. Soaked into an illusion, a synthetic reality. 
Heliocentrism is in addition to this. False flags are in addition to this. Colonialism is in addition to this. Western society, so-called civilization, military industrial complex, prison industrial complex are additions to this same mentality, which is a separation from that which empowers you, separation from that which is natural in order to dumb you down to compartmentalize you, to have you fight amongst yourselves so that you may be enslaved and controlled. That's as plain as I can put it in reference to what is going on with these false flags, what is going on with the lies and the deceptions overall through your university system, the public education system, your politics, your so-called conspiracy theories, and so on and so forth. Heliocentrism all the way up, all the way back to the Big Bang. You are told what your reality is by pirates and criminals who have zero concern for your relationship with nature, zero concern with earth, zero concern with the organic future, zero concern with understanding, understanding and overstanding your past, your history and zero concern with maintaining a healthy balance with your present moment. As long as you are sick and diseased, they can make a profit off of you. As long as you are separated from your ancestral understandings, overstandings, and understandings of your reality, you can be controlled and enslaved because they have control over your roots. If they have control over your present moment with the nine to five, with fear being instigated with false flags and so on and so forth, then they control your time. They control your present moment. And if they tell you we're going to the moon, we're going to the to Mars in 2024. We need this amount of money. We need $50 million a day for NASA. We need 90 billion dollars or 19 <clears throat> billion dollars a year for NASA we need and NASA's funding geoengineering programs harp cloud making machines the government is all one government all of this so when they include Russia in these talks and they start yelling at Kim Jong-un and you know all these other people out here the story might be a little bit more complex than it's all one government, but when you boil it all down, you have the haves and the have nots. You have people who are being enslaved and then you have the slave masters. And then yes, you're gonna have field slaves and house slaves and every those are the complexities in there because most people are enslaved by their own people. Most people are just believing into the system because their friends and family believe into the system. That's how this system works. That's the strategy that I was referencing in the last video overall. The strategy is to make you enslave yourself through fear, through a lack of understanding, through a lack of connection. And like the African proverb says, Two men in a burning house shouldn't be worried about arguing or however it's quoted. That's the main thing. We are in a burning house. And you have people arguing about the effects of what's going on with these false flags. The effects, the whatness of what's going on with being lied to about heliocentrism, with, with the these false flag authority figures like Donald Trump, the colonial empire that is the United States military bases all over the place. The war brings peace mentality. The British Empire still thriving. No different. An extension of Rome. An extension of Rome and, and Greece being an extension of or the Roman Empire being an extension of the Egyptian Empire. Alchemically speaking, they took that alchemy and spread that control, that throne, that dominion, that authority over you. That opulent sort of mentality, like spiritual opulence, because I'm in communication with the gods. So I need to be surrounded by gold and you need to dig it out of the ground because you're just a little piece of shit nothing. I'm sitting on the throne. I'm on the bloodline. 
So you just do this work. What happened to the balance is that's where the separation started to begin. That's where the alchemy started to spread into the fall. When it started to go from nature to unnatural. When it started to go from humanity to inhumanity. These same kind of things were happening all over the place. When the so-called kings in like the Aztecs, this is the time frame when they were rolling heads down the pyramid saying that we need to sacrifice this, this individual who was brought here by the Most High. We need to sacrifice this individual who has a meaning and a purpose for the Most High, for the Most High. But they weren't talking about the Most High. They was talking about some kind of high God. <laughs> Some in-between shit. And because you've been compartmentalized from your spirit, because is the same kind of effect you've been compartmentalized and gaps have been created and separated from nature, your relate down to your relationships. They affect the types of beings that come through this experience. They meaning the strategy of this system. Whatever you want to call they, you can boil it down to the Je the Jesuits, the Zionists, the the Cabal, the Illuminati, the reptilians, the 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 bad aliens, and some of the the good aliens too, because they're all aliens are bad. And then you know whatever it is that you are comfortable with in your world, whatever you want to label it is as, it is a separation from your own understanding, understanding, and overstanding of who in the hell you are. The intent of the Big Bang, which creates the New Age universe, which creates the Alien Agenda universe, is to make you have zero meaning and zero purpose. The intent of false flag operations is to make you fearful and to make you have zero meaning and zero purpose because they just need an excuse for you to get riled up. They need an excuse for you to get riled up and make it think, make you think that you've actually passed some legislation in the Congress through your so-called representatives. That's the game. The Congress arguing, Democrats and Republicans in there, the Hegelian dialectic of that movie, is the two people inside the burning house arguing. Meanwhile, you have every now and again, Democrats, you know, with a little water hose trying to put out the fire, supposedly trying to put out the fire of the White House while the game is being played by other people saying, oh, no, we need this water. They just passed the water hose, the garden hose back and forth on the illusory fires that are being like these little grass fires. No, the entire nation is on fire and has been on fire since this the, the beginnings of this nation. And as long as you are being consumed by the, the alchemy, the mind control programs of the nation, you will never be empowered to do anything about the fire. You will never be empowered to do anything about these systems. That's no different than the the quote supposedly from Albert Einstein or whoever it was of um cuz there's a lot of fake ass quotes out there from Albert Einstein. <laughs> I don't know if he said it or not, but you cannot fix the same the uh it might have been I think Gandhi might have said something like it too, but it's something to the extent of you can't you can't fix something with the same amount of consciousness that created that system within the same amount of consciousness you have to expand outside that level of consciousness to address that shallow layer of consciousness so what does that tell you about politics democrats and republicans talking about like oh we need to talk about gun control first of all you know that was a false flag so knowing that now what? Now, before we even go there, 
<clears throat> for people who are still on the fence about this stuff, you have the you have Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor. Look into what all the generals did in Hawaii when they had the information. Supposedly, didn't have the information about Pearl Harbor. All of their destroyers are out to sea. Coincidentally, when Pearl Harbor hit, the Gulf of Tonkin in Vietnam, this idea of terrorism that was created by the 9-11 event and the false flag of that and the extension of Weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, extending into Libya and taking out Gaddafi. You understand that they've tried to arm the Contra. Then you have the Iran Contra deal. These are your so called leaders. They are not your leaders, they are your slave masters. And they use illusion, the media illusion, to make you believe in them. They use people like Obama and Bill Clinton to make you believe in them. They use people like Hillary Clinton to make you and Bernie Sanders to make you believe in them. That was Barack Obama's entire run campaign thing. Believe. That's alchemy. And in between your belief systems, you have hope and belief that things are going to get better, but mostly hope for the next time when you have these pieces of shits like uh, Donald Trump and George Bush in between all of the so-called upticks of the presidential thing. Every single act that is being, every move that is being made by the mainstream, every move that is being made by the White House, when you understand that the military industrial complex and the prison industrial complex exists, colonialism still exists, is alive and well, when you understand that Western civilization is not civil at all, you know that every single move that is made by that system is a false flag. Every single move made by that world, that mind control program, the CIA runs the mainstream television. They run Disney. They run CNN, MSNBC. If they run all of those programs, what makes you think they're not somewhat behind the so-called alternative news programs and your so-called conspiracy theories? That shit was invented by the CIA back in the day. The term conspiracy theory. The intent is chaos. The intent is to have you talking about the effect. And you'll never go into addressing the cause. The intent is to keep you talking about what is going on in their movie. And never address how the movie is designed to make you think, act, and feel a certain way. Why the movie is designed to make you think, act, and feel a certain way. Why they can make those movies in the first place. Who gave them the power to make those movies in the first place? Look at the Second Amendment. Break the Second Amendment down just to its like basic thing. Like, Why does it exist that... A document has to say, keep your guns. You have a right to these guns. The main thing is, is if the powers, so-called powers that be, get out of hand and start acting stupid and start going against the people. Because this system was built on, this illusory system was built on supposedly revolt to have the illusion of freedom, separation from the British, on top of all the lies of the whole Native American shit. Then they just carried on those lies by breaking all the treaties with the Native Americans. The list goes on and on and on. It's like that one lie. Once you start that one lie, you can't 
you have to keep following it up with other lies, other distractions. The mainstream itself is a distraction. The idea that any of these individuals in so-called power today have any kind of power over this land, over these people, is an illusion. And because all of these stipulations have been set in place over generations, people believe in their illusory authority. They believe in that busted reality. And they believe that the system, the so-called powers that be, are the ones in line to fix that busted reality. No different than the idea of riding, uh, driving your vehicle around. The DMV itself is a false flag. It's a corporation. The DMV is basically the Federal Reserve of cars. Think about that. Look into it. Your driver's license, being forced to have insurance, being forced to have a license plate on there. They tell you it's for your protection. Oh, if somebody steals your car and so on and so forth. This is all based upon materialism. You know how much money they get every year from registration? of your vehicle, how much money they get, knowing that the corporations of these insurance companies are all one people, how much money they get by installing the fear of, as if license plates protect your car from being stolen in the first place. They don't. People who fucking steal cars, they don't give a shit about that. People who steal your radios, they don't care about that. Look how much money is going into insurance companies every year through the fear of oh i might uh, have a flat tire i might hit somebody somebody might hit me it's in the high 90th percentile that most of the money that's going into car insurance doesn't even it, it goes straight into the pockets of the insurance holder or the insurance companies that's coming out of your pocket the people because the authority figures told you so. You think that's a mistake, a coincidence? No, it's the same thing like real estate agencies pumping up these interest rates and promoting gentrification in certain cities, burning down an entire city, flooding out an entire city with geoengineering, and then sending in their contractors to build it up. Same thing happens in cities across the world when somebody says, this is a bad guy, and we're the good guys, we need to bomb the bad guy. And then, to make ourselves not look like the bad guy, we need to send contractors in there to build up the city. Who's making money off those contracts? Trace it back to Halliburton, and uh, just for example, Lockheed Martin, Halliburton, and Dick Cheney. All these are board members. They getting paid under the table. Like I said, two, three videos ago, these are some hustlers. These are some pirates, some criminals calling other people criminals. This is the biggest mafia. They make the biggest moves and they have these little nothing people walking around pimping hoes on the street talking about I'm a pimp, I'm this, I'm that. You ain't shit. The biggest pimps are sitting up there in the White House wearing suits and ties telling you, you need to send your kid to school to get indoctrinated. You need to go work a nine to five. You need to go do whatever it is. They're telling you those are the biggest pimps. Those are the biggest hustlers. Those are the biggest players. The ones that have mind controlled you. If you think that you're some big alchemist because you can convince some hoes from your pimp mentality to go sell their body for money. Well, who made them need that money? Who made you need that money? Those are the biggest pimps. Pimping you and you trying to be big. Call yourself a pimp pimping some hoes. No, you being pimped. Your family's being pimped. Your ancestors are being pimped. This whole society is being pimped by these fake ass hustlers who go along this timeline telling everybody that they are the most benevolent beings 
on the face of this earth that they have your best interests in mind. They don't give one fuck about you. They will take your kid and drop your kid off a fucking building if it meant a hundred dollar bill. One Benjamin. They don't care. There is zero humanity in this system. They are literally like clubbing baby seals. They are clubbing baby humans. But because you have the movie theater, because you have public education, because you have the Constitution, because you have Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, you think everything is okay. No. This entire system is a false flag operation. It's been a false flag operation since the beginning since the beginning of this control grid, everything that people are taking pride in, this is why Trump came out hard with this make America great again shit and was backed by Alex Jones. Because make America great again is the centerpiece, the cornerstone. It's the cornerstone, the core. It's all of those pieces of the overall illusion the illusion that this system has your best interest in mind the only reason why you can defend that this system has your best interest in mind is because this system is half a smidge better in different perspectives than other systems this is the Hegelian dialectic of communism and democracy. First world countries and third world countries. But never forget, those communist countries are run by leaders. Those leaders are best friends with the other leaders, so-called leaders of the world. The free world. The democratic world. On top of that, those so-called third world countries are only third world countries because the world countries mentality was created in the first place. Fiat currency, genocide, massacre, colonization, soaking the resources from people, bombing, destroying, making military bases, saying that it's for the benefit of what? Just like the so-called pilgrims and settlers said that they were moving people off of their land, moving Native American people off of their land, paper genociding and really genociding them for their benefit. Why? Because they are so-called primitive and savage. You are a primitive and a savage. We are doing this for your benefit. Stop complaining. Are you ungrateful? We gave you a book. We gave you these clothes. We gave you this style of living. You have tobacco. You have alcohol. You have your nine to five. You have apple pie. You have hot dogs. You have the major league baseball. You have the NFL. You have Kim Kardashian and Snooki. You have the Disney Channel. You have McDonald's. You're ungrateful. We even give you public education. All of these are mind control programs to keep you celebrating your own enslavement. When Donald Trump came out there with that Make America Great Again shit, that was their Hail Mary. That was their last, that was their last attempt at you know, holding on to this pride of enslavement. What does that mean? Make America great again. This idea of America. First of all, America is the Americas, not the United States of America. That's the first fucking mind control program. Second mind control program is 
when the hell did America was ever this America, the United States of America, when the hell was this ever great? It's never been great. So they're creating a foundation. Boom. Right off the bat. They create that mentality. And then since they are the authority figures, since they are the illusory alpha dogs in this world, you just follow it. You build your straw house on top of their shallow, broken foundation because you have no other way of thinking. You don't think for yourself. You have no power. You have no critical thought. You have no connection with your ancestors. Your history has been completely removed. You have nothing to stand on. And even the, the foundation that you're standing on, you're standing on that foundation with two broken legs and two casts, a body filled with 10 different versions of cancer because you have bought into all of the other compartmentalized systems in and around believing in that system, believing in that authority. You've bought those programs. You bought into the false flag of the Gulf of Tonkin. You bought into Pearl Harbor. You bought into 9-11. You bought into Sandy Hook. You bought into the Boston bombing. You bought into Las Vegas. You bought into San Bernardino. You bought into the American dream. You bought into a Barack Obama. You're buying into the distraction mechanism of Donald Trump. You're buying in to this false flag operation that is the mainstream society as a whole. You bought into the public education system because this education system is first world education system next to, in comparison to. The thing is, humanity is not about in comparison to. This mainstream distraction world is all about in comparison to. That's the magic of the Hegelian dialectic. Then you have the micro Hegelian dialectics of was there a shooter? Was there more than one shooter? Did it even happen? Did anybody die? Only these many people died, but only certain people got injured. You are being consumed by the script of the movie, which is exactly its business as usual. That's the design of the mainstream media to maintain the script. They are the script. The mainstream media is the script of the burning house. The mainstream dialogue is carried out by the actors who are reading that script within that burning house. And those actors are just holographic actors inside the burning house. Meanwhile, you are definitely inside the burning house. The people who are at the bottom of the pyramid are inside the burning house watching holographic images or watching television of actors and politicians inside a burning house, telling them what they should do about the burning house with a garden hose. A garden hose is not going to put out a burning nation, a burning earth. It's not only about what's happening in your neck of the woods. That's what keeps people in that distraction. That's what keeps people compartmentalized and locked into this enslavement program. You just worry about yourself. That's the alchemy of the fiat currency system. Just worry about yourself. Don't You have no connection to humanity anywhere else. We're just a cosmic mistake that was shot out of the Big Bang and, you know, just kicked down, kicked down the timeline of creating Earth, creating dinosaurs, creating monkeys, and then creating you and your iPhone 7. You better be fucking grateful that you have this now because you could just be living like a, a, a Neanderthal, kicking rocks together, trying to build a fire. You're ungrateful. All of those theories are illusions. To build up to the illusion today that this system cares about you. This system don't give a shit about you. Period. 
Period. End of story. All these false flags that are out there are designed to make you think they believe about you. This is why they have Jimmy Kimmel's fake crying ass on TV. Stephen Colbert, Conan O'Brien, Trevor Noah, Russell Brand, Joe Rogan, John Oliver, Samantha B. Everybody that's on MSNBC, CNN, all those other damn shows out there is all one storyline to make you believe in them, to make you believe in the system. Are they the ones that are getting flooded out? Nope. Are they the ones inside the burning house? Nope. They get paid millions of dollars to keep their mouth shut about the burning house that is this entire Western so-called civilization. Why do you think athletes only talk about certain parts of the burning house? They're talking about a burning bush around the burning house. Take a knee. No, stand the fuck up. Does the burning bush not matter? Of course this burning bush matters. But it's a part of this entire city, nation, world that's on fire. Don't turn the victim's shirt on right now because all of this shit needs to be addressed. Politics is not even talking about. They don't care. They they acting like the house is not. They act like the house is great. (laughs) <laughs> they want to say the house is wonderful. No, everything is fine. Everything is great. You know, we just need to bomb some more people, get some more genetically modified foods. We need to genet- uh, We need Neil deGrasse Tyson to uh, pump up genetically modified foods, okay? So have him do some stupid-ass interview. <laughs> See, what happens is you don't want to eat bananas with seeds in it, do you? <laughs> with that stupid-ass fucking Neil deGrasse Tyson laugh. <laughs> you don't want to eat. You don't want to eat this. This, see, genetically modifying is natural. Really? Bill Nye. Well, the human doesn't really have a soul. I mean, that's just my belief. I'm just, what, the science guy? Was that Dolph Lundgren? Or what's his name? Yeah. That dude's got more degrees. The dude who fought Sylvester Stallone in Rocky. I don't remember what it was. Rocky 2? 3? Whatever Rocky it was, where Dolph was in it, that dude, yes, that guy, the, the, he's got more damn scientific degrees than Bill Nye, the supposedly science guy. You're watching a movie. You're watching like, you're looking at uh, Bin Laden. You're watching news, news, uh, <laughs> news, what the hell is the name of the? Articles, clips, whatever it is. You're watching the damn news and they talking about Osama bin Laden and they trying to find some terrorists. You watching where in the world is Carmen San Diego? You watching some stupid ass interview about climate change? You watching Bill Nye, the science guy? You watching any of these movies out there that are talking about like Geo Storm and all that other shit? You're watching a cartoon like a kid will watch a cartoon like that doesn't exist. Oh, it's not real. It's other than this. No, you're being mind controlled. You're being conditioned and you're being indoctrinated and subconsciously programmed. Just like the siege was pre positioning, pre positioning your perspective of hating Muslims and thinking Muslims are terrorists. And hating any kind of so-called black protests because they're just thugs that just break windows and break buildings. You're never going to acknowledge the fact that most of these buildings and, and things that are being broken are because of the, the black block teams that are being paid by the government to go out there and cause shit. 
This is not something that I'm just saying because I've seen on articles. No, I've seen firsthand. We've busted cops outside marching in protests acting like they were protesters. We busted them and they've actually pulled guns on us at these protests. Look it up for yourself. In Occupy Oakland, in the march for Eric Garner, that night, the night after that, look for yourself. We've busted these fake ass cops walking around in the protests. I've personally busted news teams who show up with their own interviewers. The interviewers come out of the same truck as the cameras and the news anchors. They run over to the scene, they jump in front of the camera, and they tell you what it is that they scripted before they got out of the fucking truck. You're watching a movie. This is happening. This is a movie script that is going on. First hand, this is how I'm telling you, this is first hand. You can confirm this shit for yourself. I'm not the only one who's seen this. Not to mention, this is just a small scale version of what's the larger scale of false flags that are going on. What I just explained to you about people putting the system, putting cops in the protests to cause shit to do reconnaissance. They, they say, oh, we're just reconning. We're just doing research. No, those same cops that were busted out while they were walking with us, trying to act like they were part of us, when they were busted out and they almost got their fucking heads knocked off, they pulled their guns out. Oh, that's just for protection. <laughs> yeah, okay. Why the fuck did they have guns in a protest in the first place? For your protection? No, this is a fucking lie. You're watching a movie. If you understand, if you know, if you have confirmed that they are putting people in front of you to make you think, act, and feel a certain way, then you have to realize that everything that's put out there is a false flag. Everything. Not something. Everything. You want proof? Look at your stupid ass president. Look at his campaign slogan, make America great again. How much proof do you need? It goes all the way to the so-called top of your illusion. America has never been great. America that they say is not America. It's the United States. And if they were talking about America's, it'd be a different fucking story. Which is why they tried to do that shit with the Contra. They tried to take these lands. They're trying to own all this stuff so they can install this bigger control grid which is what's happening with the new age which is what i think is happening with the soft opening of flat earth and you know breaking down of these systems it's being broken down to build it up broken down to the foundation they don't want to break the foundation which is what make america great again is it's breaking down or burning down the house that's what Trump represents. They'll burn the house down. But they ain't going to touch that foundation. <laughs> no way. They ain't going to lose that land. You think they're going to lose that land? No. They want you to focus on the fire. Look at this fire. Oh, don't look too hard. Only use the water hose. Yeah, you can vote. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good job. You're participating. Good job, civilian. <laughs> you made a good you made a contribution to your country by voting every 2 years, every 4 years. Good job. Anyway, that's pretty much what I wanted to share with this video. I didn't want to go too long on this one cuz I mean, pretty much every other video that I've put on this channel has been saying the same thing. And this Las Vegas shit is just another proof of it. And 
if you want proof, look at all the other storylines that are out there and look at what this system wants you to believe. Look at all those people that they put in front of you to make you believe a certain frame of mind, to get in, to, get in, to believe a certain perspective and to get into a certain frame of mind. Jimmy Kimmel crying on television about what's happening is no different than every news channel making you think that all Muslims are terrorists. Every news channel making you think that all so-called black people are thugs. Making you think that every pilgrim and settler back in the day, every Spanish Spaniard and every French men and every Portuguese sailor making you think that the Americans, the true Americans of South and North America and Central America, it's no different than the Spanish, the French, the Portuguese, the British making you think that the true Americans are primitive and savage. It's the same movie. It's the same script. It's the same producers, the same directors. And it's about power and control. I'm talking about the modern so-called civilization, modern society. This is the question you are being that is being raised right now. These are the perspectives that are being raised right now. When you look at these false flags that don't they're they're obviously false flags. And you look at the only hope that you have. Like back when Barack Obama was put in there, not by you, the voters, by the system, when he was put in there to dumb everybody down, to calm everybody down after George Bush, when he was put in that seat, that was to put a belief in the system. When Trump was put in there, the obvious thing to me is to have one demographic of people having a belief in their version of the system formalized Hegelian dialectic and have another version of the storyline being played out as if this is a controlled demolition. Trump. People who have any kind of, he himself is a controlled demolition. You think that as stupid as he is, knowing that they put these people in place, knowing that you can have any kind of understanding what I'm saying when I call him stupid like that. He's just ridiculously dumb. On purpose, just like Barack Obama was ridiculously charismatic and believable. You think that's a coincidence? You think it's a coincidence that they went from one extreme to the other extreme? No, that's alchemy. It's not a coincidence. It's alchemy. Because ultimately, you are engaged in the effect and you will never address the cause. You're trying to fix the system within the system with Donald Trump. While with Obama, when he was in there, you were allowing the system to attempt to fix itself because of the belief and the confidence that you had in a charismatic leader. Two sides of the same coin. Two bags of shit. Will never, uh, never address the cause. You'll never address the foundation. You'll never ask how and why. And anybody who's sharing these perspectives, not to say that they're in on it, just to say that because I used to do the same thing when I used to write. I used to write about this shit from those kind of perspectives. I mean, I still write, but from the perspective of what is going on. You know, what is going on? 
not how what is going on is going on or why what is going on is going on but what is going on that's simple that's easy that's catchy people they got it oh that's tr i got it that's cool this guy's on to something when you start talking about how and why that's when you start making people feel uncomfortable because you can only address the how and why from a level of consciousness that gets outside of the level of consciousness that's comfortable in the what or the effects and they'll go so far as call you divisive or trying to you know do something with distract from it. no go big or go home And your home is that burning house that they want you to think is not burning. It's a slow boil, like boiling frogs, that whole storyline. Go big or go home. And they know this. They play. They, they're, they're, they're playing this game. Chess, they put the board out there, gold-plated that chess game, gold-plated that checker game. Those boards are gold-plated. You are playing with gold and silver pieces checkers or chess whatever game you are comfortable with you're playing it whatever is comfortable for you you're gonna play because it's gold and silver and they are already going big because they ain't got no home to, they're not going home they made their home your home they've stolen they want to make other people's homes their home Look at Mark Zuckerberg going over with his little checkbook to Hawaii and buying up native, uh, native Hawaiian land, Polynesian people's land, and then building a fence around that land because he built this criminal empire of Facebook. You're talking about, how dare you? Look how much connection it's made, Facebook's made. I can't communicate with my grandmother. My grandmother has a, get the fuck out of here with all this effect bullshit. You are consuming yourself with the special effects of the prison. Look at all these special effects in the, in the burning house. Look at these actors. They all have Twitter accounts. They're all against the system. They're, because they're against Trump. That's the illusion. Those people are on your side. You think those people are on your side because they make one donation here or there. They send out one tweet. They put out one little Instagram post about some kind of foundation that they're all about. They don't give a fuck about you. Period. That social media shit is out there to have the illusion. The hologram that they care about you. No different than these false flags being promoted on television to make you have the illusion that the government cares about you. Same story. Different cover. Same intention. Same foundation. Different day. All of it is not for your benefit. It's inhumane. I don't want to go anymore with this video. It's pretty much it. I've expanded upon it enough. The, the, um, the main premise is challenge yourself to start looking into the causes and not being consumed by the effects or the special effects. Look into the cause of this authority grid. Look into the cause of this power structure. Look into the cause of the sickness and disease, the drug problems, the cause of these shootings, the cause of the guns being on the streets, the cause of your, your sickness and disease, children, these vaccines, Yes, you can get caught up in like, oh, well, the vaccines are bad. Okay, well, what is the intent of that? How, how is that being, who's in charge? 
Who's causing those vaccines to be promoted to you? Who's causing those vaccines to be filled with all that bullshit to affect your families? Who's causing, who benefits, and who's causing the fiat currency to expand? Who's causing all, of, and what is causing all of these commercials to be promoted to you every day? Look at how much a commercial costs at the Super Bowl. That's money behind that. Who's causing the soft release of this flat earth information and why? How is it being released? How could it be co-opted? And why is it being released? And why would it be co-opted? You're always going to go down to power, control, and authority over your soul, your mind, and your body. Period. Control and power over your soul, mind, and body. They got you on lockdown with mainstream religion. They got you on lockdown with mainstream education. The university system and public education system, all of it is my control. They got you on lockdown with controlling your human resources. Your food is genetically modified. Your water is fluoridated. It's all controlled by the corporations. You're, you're filled with prescription drugs. You're filled with alcohol. You're filled with cigarettes. You're put in jail because you're smoking a plant. You're put in jail because you have possession of a plant that expands your consciousness outside of the consciousness that re makes you stay a slave. You expanding your consciousness is a threat to this system because you expanding your perspectives will allow you to no longer consume yourself with the special effects of the effect in relation to the causes of that effect. You will start expanding yourself outside of the consumption program of what is going on on social media. What is going on on mainstream media. And you'll start getting into how that stuff is going on and why it's going on. Those are two different worlds. They're two different, completely different experiences. One experience is being projected into your reality by an outside influence, a mind control program, while the other one is you, your critical thought from the inside out, not a mind control program from the outside in you can use your perspectives your depths of understanding from the inside out to perceive and actually address the storyline that's being projected from the outside in and that's exactly what the system wants to keep people from doing because the mechanisms that keep people from doing that are to be consumed by fear to be consumed by distraction to be consumed by the, the fear of not having your, your basic human needs met, which is why they have to control the land, the food, the water, and your shelter and security. These are your five basic needs that are at the core of this cause of authority, illusory authority over you. And once we start addressing those causes that are across the board, excuse me, that's when you will start to get outside of the illusions that are promoted by this system and actually being able to do something about it. Until we get there, we're not going to be able to do anything about it because we're still going to think that either we're too powerless, hopeless, or basically, or the other, the other group is just like, they still want the system to do something. That's what the mainstream is. That's why you get crying Jimmy Kimmel on there. Make you believe. You want to believe in your enslavement from their eyes or you want to believe in your empowerment from your eyes. Two different worlds. So thank you for joining me. And um, yeah, until next time, from all my relations, peace, love, and harmony.